They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. I just, I just want to podcast forever, man. I just want to sit in this chair or a chair, uh, whether in person or remote, <laughs> and just do a bunch of different podcasts on a bunch of different things. It's, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And I ask, I find myself. It makes me a much better communicator, not just like on uh, on a podcast. It's like in general, like I was speaking to my parents, speaking to my girlfriend, speaking to my friends, speaking to complete strangers. It makes me, I, I find myself, I ask more questions. It's funny, my friend Jared, um, the other day was just like, you know, Will, it's just like, since you've got me into podcasting, doing my podcasts, it's just like, I find myself speaking to people when I'm in podcast mode. And it's just like, Jared, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> like, is if you talk to somebody, it's like, okay, I'm not a host, right? I'm just a person right. talking about the Yankees. You know what I mean? Like, do, do you ever yeah. find yourself in a situation where, like, doing a podcast is, helps you in other aspects of your life, other parts of your career, personal relationships, et cetera, et cetera? I mean, I think to be a good podcast host, you have to be a good listener. Mm, uh, I definitely. think that's probably like the big, like a good active listener. You have to be able to riff off what people are saying. Um, and I think part of it is the riff, right? Like, it's just like uh, for, for a conversational podcast like this, I think mine is a little more serious. And so I don't tend to, I don't tend to interrupt someone, but I do tend to listen. And so I, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, okay, let's dig into that. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? And like, I've done my research and can you tell me a little bit more about the behind, like, let's pull back the curtain. But to your point, I think what you're getting at is kind of just like when it turns into a conversational podcast like this, it's, it's like, um, it's like public speaking, but engaged public speaking. Cause like you get the mm. other person gets to public speak with you too. Mm. And I think it's like, like, if, if you notice, like being on a podcast is, is distinctly different than just, you know, speaking, whatever comes to mind. There, there is some kind of processing of thought and, and there's some kind of like, there's also the podcast voice. So it's like, it's like layers to it. I think you have the podcast voice and then you also have like, oh, you want to be engaging. You want to frame things in a certain kind of way. You want to like feel like the listener is like, you know, like right there like in the room with you. So I, I think that, I think that podcasting definitely makes you think about how to be more engaging. And those are things that align with public speaking to me. So I think it does make you a better speaker. Uh, but I think there's a lot of things for me that, that help me be a better speaker and podcasting is definitely one of them. Definitely. You said the word engaging and engagement and social media go hand in hand. You know, I, I do all the social for this channel and most of APS by myself. And it's, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. I'm still learning. Um, but you've done it. When did you, when did you first start your career in social media? What year? 